Bible colleges. Uh, I, I believe that if some young people ask me, uh, where should I go to Bible college? I said, nowhere. Uh -huh. How about it? And anyway, but I'm going to change my mind. You know what? If you, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to learn the Bible and you want to learn how to win people and you want to learn uh, to refute false doctrine, go to London, Kentucky with Derek and Kirk Hacker. Amen. Amen. Is that Woo! right? That's exactly right. When's the church going to be the church? When's the church going to be the church? The church ought to be teaching men how to preach and how to teach and how to soul win. The church is supposed to do that. The reason a lot of you preachers are not getting paid very much because a lot of congregations are supporting Bible colleges that don't believe anything. You say, how do you know? Oh, I, I, I. Oh, I sound like Linwood. <laughs> Wasn't that a good message by Linwood Smith? Yes, amen. Listen, I figured, yes, amen. amen. I figured this one thing out. Anybody that acts as dumb as Linwood has to be very smart. Isn't that right? That's exactly right. He's on the ball when it comes to the truth. But the reason I said that about Bible college, my sister, Roxy, you know Roxy, a lot of you know her. She was very sad, and she called me, and she said, I can't hardly talk. And I said, what's wrong? I hope I get to this sermon. <laughs> and she said, I can't hardly talk. I said, what's wrong, Rox? She said, I just got, I don't know Facebook. You can ask my uh, son. This computer stuff, and it, it's interesting and okay, but I don't understand all that stuff. But anyway, she sent me something on Facebook. And it was the president of Central Christian College of the Bible. He was talking. That's where I went to college for a little while. And anyway, he, he was talking in chapel, answering questions that young people have asked him. And he was talking about women speaking in chapel. And anyway, they have women now speaking in chapel. If you're supporting that, I quit it. Here, yeah. when yeah. they're chopping at the root, they're chopping at the root, they're chopping at the authority of Jesus Christ, the Word of God. And anyway, I listened to that, and I got as sick as a buzzard eating a possum. <laughs> I couldn't hardly stand it either. And he was saying, "It's okay." And then he said, "This. How many of you have the Book of Acts by Gareth Reese?" It's one of the best commentaries ever written, period, on the book of Acts. He was my professor. He was my professor. And the book of Timothy is okay except where he talks about women. You know what, Gareth Reed said, I don't care if you send this to him. Terry Carter said, I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> he says this. This is what he said in this, uh, 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 the president quoted Gareth Reed. It would be okay for women to preach and teach in the congregation as long as their husband is not in the room. <laughs> and I thought, that has to be in Second Imagination 4-8. <laughs> he said that. And he said, if you're a single woman, you ought, to, uh, you ought to read that. If you're a single woman, you ought to be able to preach. Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. And you know what, Gareth Reese? If you read that in his commentary in Timothy, it's all opinion. It's not Bible at all because the Bible says nothing about that at all, period. But it's the devil. Now, don't get mad at me. I, I, you know, I have a, a handicap sign on my uh, rearview mirror, and I can't stand if you get mad at me. They just gave me a handicap sticker the other day and said, here, you need this. I don't have that or what? I have one over there. But they said it was because of my heart disease. But you know now, you know the denominational world, the denominational world has set their standard and we're trying to meet it. We're trying to meet that standard. 
pink comes to my lashes. <laughs> What's wrong with the church? Right down the road from me, there was a church of Christ. And a denominational guy came in because they wanted to learn how to grow. And the denominational man told him to take the name Christ off the, uh, off the building and off the sign. So it now it doesn't say Church of Christ. Oh, mercy. At all. 